Today we're going to be working with our SF20 low pressure steam generator to heat and offload rail cars. These units are very mobile and easy to set up. Let's head to the job site and take a closer look. We have our low pressure steam generator SF20 in an enclosed trailer. When you pull up to a job site with this machine and you need to heat a car, first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to uh, get the generator going. The steam generator takes about 15 minutes to uh, get up to temperature, uh, so that'll give us some time while that's heating up to get all our other connections hooked up, get the condensate return system hooked up. We use a 7,000 watt Kubota generator for power. Um, these are great uh, diesel engine. For, for a diesel engine, it's really quiet. If you're in there with all the doors closed, you can still talk. It is a little bit louder than some of your gas engine generators. All right, here's the SF20 steam generator. We already got water in the vessel, and we got water in our water tank. So I'm gonna hook the first position, uh, make sure the machine's going. Check over there to make sure I can see water in my sight glass, so I got enough. Uh, then I go to heat. And my valve is closed all the way, because once it starts building up steam, if your valve's open, it's just gonna dump steam. Not a big deal, but uh, it's a little bit easier, a little bit safer if you close this off while you're connecting everything. Let's get our steam hose. This is only a 20 foot section and we can do 50 foot sections or any any size that you really want. Um, the shorter the length, the better heat transfer you're going to get and the lighter it is. We use pretty heavy steam hose because they're more durable. Um, they have a little bit of insulation to them, uh, just a better, better product, but it does come with a little weight. It's a hammer fitting, so let's get her nice and tight. As you can see, I've already connected the fitting for the boss connection for the steam hose connect to and I've also connected uh, the fittings for the steam manifold to connect to. Normally you wouldn't do this uh, but uh, just to show you what, what's going to be entering the car I'm going to open the valve with the hose disconnected so you can see the steam volume that's going to be entering the car once we get everything connected. Let's get the condensate return system out. All right, this is the condensate tank. Here's the pump for it. Here's the manifold. All right, so what I got here is the steam manifold for the outlet of the rail car. You got your three-way valve here. So you want to be dumping water at the beginning of this process because there's going to be rust and debris inside those rail car coils. Once it starts becoming clear, you can recirculate and change it in the direction so it's coming this way through your Y strainer to catch any other large particles. And then it goes to a steam trap to ensure that all the steam stays in the coils. If you have steam escaping, then you're just losing a lot of uh, potential heat there. And so on the outlet of the steam trap, we have uh, a fitting here to connect a hose to so that it goes to our condensate tank. All right, we're connected and flow's going out that way for now. From our condensate manifold, the hose uh, connects to the top of the tank here. This hose goes from the condensate tank to the pump inlet. It's connected to the steam generator on the bottom and it comes to the pump outlet. So the pump's gonna pull from the tank, the condensate tank, and it's gonna pump it right back into the steam generator. This cord here, really important. It's the cord from the pump. Plug it into this outlet that matches from the tank. And then this cord, plug it into the generator. And this is gonna power our condensate system. So what we got going on with the condensate system, as we discussed, drain some water out first, close it, it goes through your Y strainer, your steam trap, close that hose up here to your condensate tank. And like I said, it pumps right back into the steam generator. Everything's connected. We're good to go. Here's some of the water that's coming out of the condensate return system. As you can see, it's pretty rust colored. Now that we got clear water, I'm gonna turn this valve. And now it's going through our system here. It's important to know that every once in a while, it's good to clean out that condensate tank because there's still some rust that comes in there and settles in the bottom. During this heating process, 
the steam going into the rail car is about 220 degrees Fahrenheit, usually just because there's a little back pressure on it. But generally, the condensate coming back is about 10 degrees warmer than uh, your product inside the car. If your product's at 70 degrees in the car, your condensate's gonna be coming back at 80 degrees. That's how good a heat transfer you have in the system. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, this just shows how easy it is to uh, heat up one of these rail cars. Thanks for watching.